Without football in the Big Ten? Could the Golden Bears survive? Are you kidding me? They lost to Colorado last season. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. We break down the game we all love each and every day with you. Best discussion, debate, and analysis. We are running a series where we are taking various schools that are projected, rumored to be, possibly in a conversation to move to another conference in realignment and matching them up against a conference. And of course, to project what could happen going forward, we've got to look at what has happened in the past. Cal's got a bad football program right now. Bad football team in 2022 do not look to be much better under Justin Wilcox this season. He's had a pretty marginal, to be kind, to be kind, Justin, marginal stay at Cal. What has Cal done against the Big Ten historically in recent times? Let's look at the Golden Bears in 15 outings against the Big Ten since the year 2000, and it might surprise you. Golden Bears against Illinois. Last time that the Cal football program hit the field against the Big Ten was in the Red Box Bowl against the Illini and a 35-20 win there. A 31-24 win going back nine seasons to 2014 against Northwestern, a 5-7 and seven football team. Cal played uh, the Big Ten quite a bit during the 2000s. 15 games, we just looked at Stanford only playing six games against the Big Ten despite those three Rose Bowl appearances for the Cardinal since 2000. Cal lost some games against Ohio State, you see, in 2012 and 2013, despite having a 3-9 and team against a 12-0 and Ohio State team. They took the Buckeyes to a one-score game in the fourth quarter in Columbus. Games against Maryland, of course, the Terps were not a part of the Big Ten at that point, and uh, Cal won those games against the Terps, also against Michigan State in 2008, a pretty good Spartans team at 9-4. and Losses to Maryland there, you see, in 2008. And then a string of wins against the likes of Michigan State, Illinois, and Minnesota in 2002, 5 and 6. And all those teams were sub 500 teams in the Big Ten. A loss to Illinois in 2001. That Illini team went 10 and 2 and won the Big Ten championship. And uh, the Golden Bears went down 44 to 17 in that one. Same season, they defeated Rutgers again. Of course, the Scarlet Knights, not a Big Ten club at that point at 2-9. and nine. And go back to 2000 and another game against Illinois. Cal lost that game against the 5-6 and six Illini, 17-15. So in the 21st century against the Big Ten, Cal matched up against Illinois four times, twice each against Michigan State, Minnesota, Ohio State, and Northwestern and also Maryland, and one time against Rutgers that 2001 game. Could Cal possibly have a winning record against the Big Ten since the year 2000? Could they possibly have a winning record going forward against the Big Ten? How about that? 9-6 and outscored the Big Ten during these 15 games by 80 points. Add up all these Cal teams. Look at this. This is pretty astounding when you look at this. Not only did Cal go 9-6 and against the Big Ten, these Cal teams weren't that good. They went 82 and 101. And they faced Big Ten teams that actually were four games over 500. So they should have had a losing record against these Big Ten teams. Looking at the Cal football program since the year 2000, they've been not even marginal. When you go sub 500 and a power five, knowing that you're playing two to three, Group of five teams in the non-conference, you should have a plus 500 record if you are any good. And since 2000, Cal is 135 and 141. They have an awful record in the Pac-12, 79 and 117. They are 38 games under 500 in the conference, seven and four in bowl games, though. So when when Cal is decent, they beat some pretty good teams. And if you follow the NFL draft, you know that Cal figures in prominently in the NFL. Three top 25 finishes during this um, 23-year run, only one since 2006, and that was a top 10 finish. You don't think Cal can play with the Big Ten? Look at those results. I know it's only 15 over the course of 23 years, but these were generally bad Cal teams playing okay Big Ten teams and playing well, 9-6. and six. Okay, the current state of Cal football is awful. They would be another Rutgers in the Big Ten. So why would the Big Ten go after Cal? Well, they would pair them with Stanford, and academically, it's a powerhouse. I don't need to explain it here. We've explained it many times with our buddy Tony Altimore. Please check out those live streams because they are educational. And speaking of education, of course, the academic prowess of Cal, Stanford, makes them a huge gain for the Big Ten. Will the Big Ten go after Cal? We don't know that. 
but we are sizing up the football programs against the would-be conference affiliation. Cal against the Big Ten. Leave your comments below right here at the Voice of Cali Football. And there is more to come as we look eastward right here at the Voice of College Football.